Chapter 4 Simple Ways to Improve Sprinting Technique for a Beginner The simplest way to improve your sprinting technique when you are just beginning is to work on your form. If you don't establish a good form early on, then you will waste time trying to correct your form and put yourself at a higher risk of injury. That's why this part of the course is going to focus on the proper sprinting form. Getting ready. Everything in your body should be facing forward. That means your shoulders, hips and feet should all be pointing towards the finish line. Your eyes too should be looking frontward and looking at the track about 10 meters ahead. Prepare to engage your car muscles for added power by tightening your abdominal muscles and pulling your belly button inward. Your upper body including your jaw, neck and shoulders should be relaxed so take a deep breath before your sprint and purposely relax those muscles. If you are clenching them as you run, you will make your body work harder than necessary in these areas, taking energy away from the other muscles. Assuming the proper standing starting position is as easy as moving your dominant leg, right if you are right-handed, back slightly while keeping most of your weight on your non-dominant leg, which is at the starting line. Then bend your knees a little as you bend slightly at the waist. Your arms should also be in position, with your non-dominant arm back and your dominant arm forward. Proper Sprint Form Begin by pushing up with your front leg using your toes to launch yourself forward. From there, every stride should look the same. Your dominant leg should extend outward until your knee is at the same level as your hip. Your ankle and knee should be at 90 degrees angles. Your opposite arm should be back and kept bent at a 90 degree angle. Then you'll use your dominant leg to propel yourself forward and get your non-dominant, also called supporting leg, into the same position and continue until you reach the finish line. As you run, you will also need your arms to move in sync with your legs to improve speed. Keep your elbows bent at the 90 degree angles, your hands and shoulders relaxed and move your hands in rhythm with your knees from your hip up to your chin. When each foot hits the ground, you want to land first with your heel, then roll your foot forward to launch yourself from your toe as you did on your first stride. Having strong, powerful footfalls is one of the most important parts of being able to increase your sprinting speed. How to practice form The best way to practice your form is during your warm-up, because it's a lot easier to remember everything when you're moving slower. If you're not working with a trainer or a seasoned sprinter, then you may benefit from recording yourself and reviewing the videos to see how well you did and where you need to improve. There are also tools that can help you, which will be discussed later in this course.